Ric Flair finally did his last match. Last match. Pretty sure he's going to do more. Because Ric Flair is the kind of guy that just can't stop. So I'm pretty sure I reacted to one of his channels before. This guy's channel, I reacted to his video before, like where Ric Flair needs to be saw stopped. I'm pretty sure that's him. Wrestling gifts. And he's doing, so I watched Ric Flair's last match. I need to go see this after the actual match. But I really don't want it at the same time because it's kind of be, going to be sad a little bit. I don't know. Let's just get to it. Let's do this. A month ago, I made a video titled Ric Flair Must Be Stopped. And in the video, I went over how a 73 year old yeah. Ric Flair with a pacemaker in his heart on blood thinners after almost dying a few times was going to wrestle. I went what? over how I thought it was stupid and unnecessary and honestly, just how sad the situation truly was. Ooh. And in the comments, a lot of people agreed. A lot of normal people saw how mentally challenged the decision is to go out there and wrestle in the shape Flair is in and how sad it was. Well, then you had the idiots who defended it. Yo, I dropped that video and you would think I told them that I wanted to have sex with their mom or something. These people got so triggered and like, yo, Flair's the man. You don't know anything. He's the goat. He's going to be fine. Oh, you get those kind of fans. The uh, Marky Mark fans that don't think for themselves. Like, oh man, he's the greatest. He's the greatest of all time. God damn those people. And he's going he's gonna to be okay. Kill yourself, Mark. And I'm like... Okay, what the fuck? But yo, time went by. Ric Flair trained and trained. He ate his vitamins, drank his alcohol, did hundreds of sit-ups for some reason, and he went around the company promoting this match. He wanted this match to be so big and so popular and such a big deal, the man started bleeding in a pre-recorded video promo. Imagine walking by, just living your best life, you're chilling, and all you see is Ric Flair just bleeding on a driveway. But whatever, he promoted- Was he, was he on blood thinners when he took the- when he started bleeding? That's a lot of blood, normal blood. Hey, look, it's Karen Jarrett. Haven't seen her in a while. He did everything, and last night, finally, after all this time, it finally happened. Live from Nashville, Tennessee, it was Ric Flair's last match. And, um... Bro, what the f*** did we just watch? Ric Flair, at 73 years old, actually went through it. In front of legends like The Undertaker, Mick Foley, Bret Hart, in front of his kids, he went out there at 73 years old and wrestled after. one last time, supposedly. He walked out wearing the world title, and he was all happy and cool. And honestly, I saw this, and I was like, you know what? Cool, respect. He's getting his moment. He yeah. had the music playing. The crowd was roaring. You know, he's getting the admiration, the love. He has his championship belt, and he looked very happy. And even though I roasted it, I made fun of it, and I thought it was stupid, I saw this, and I was happy for the man, too, because he finally looked happy. At that point, I'm like, you know what? This hey, might hey, man. It's like, if he's happy, he's happy. But still, like, a wrestler can't stop. They always need to go. It's always their last match. It'll be my last match. But yeah, at least Ric Flair's happy about it. <laughs> yeah. He'll actually be good. He'll get his entrance, he'll get his moment, he'll go in there and he'll take it easy, right? And he did. The match started and it was fine. It was cute. He did his spots, he taunted, he wrestled a bit and he looked normal. He didn't look like he was about to collapse and he did his thing. Even the crowd was happy. They didn't seem traumatized or anything. It was like... It's a good thing it's a tag team match though because I thought it was going to be a singles one-on-one. -on -one. But a tag team, you can like hide his flawness like... He, tag teams you can hide their weaknesses because he's very old and like hasn't done this in a while so it's a good idea to do it in a tag team i'm gonna regret saying that am i rick flair's greatest hits of whatever he can manage to play at the age of 73 it was good it was harmless they even had a spot where jeff chair was leaving and i was like you know what this is perfect let him come back let's go home do some spots figure for a leg lock let's call it a night you know what i was wrong right i was wrong Respect to Ric Flair, respect to everyone. Good job. But nah, 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 nah. He wanted to party like it was 1984 and he was in the Greensboro Coliseum and by God, he did. Ric Flair walked in there and this man said, I am dying tonight. It's like he had a death wish. It's like he oh, wanted this to be the end, the last hurrah. Ric Flair barely puts on a figure for a leg lock and he looks like he's about to collapse. It looks oh, like he's God, done, Rick. it's over, but it was fine because the crowd was going nuts and honestly, it was short and sweet, but I felt like the crowd would have been fine if the match ended right then and there because at least... There was no major health risk, right? But nah, not tonight. Jared goes yeah. in there and he punched him in the head. And once this happened, it was over. They punched him in the head and they just took advantage of this old man. They should have called this shit elder abuse. They throw it him outside the ring. Abuse. They get Karen Jared's heel and they hit him in the face. He's getting slapped around in front of his family. And at that point, he falls down. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we got some heat on him. He got slapped around, punched a little bit. And now he gets to... Uh, so he's down on the ground. When does he get the blade to cut himself? 
because you know that's gonna happen rest like you know good for rick flair pace yourself rest let's get back in there and let's end this right no nope. rick flair wasn't resting no no rick flair was far from resting this was just an excuse for 73 year old rick flair to, to blade. blade while everyone else is having altercations with rick flair's family and distracting rick flair is willingly on the floor taking a knife to his head and slicing himself yeah. for the wrestling industry for the fans for the love of the game Gotta because he feel yourself. like he hasn't done enough in his 40 50 year career he decides he hasn't done enough for the fans so he decides to cut his head open and just bleed everywhere he gets up and he's just getting clapped punches and punches and, and it was sad because this was so sad first of all you're seeing a 73 year old man who probably of course conrad thompson's in the front row of course he'll be there why wouldn't he be in the back he has to be in the front row because he's a money whore like ah oh, he has got to get it face in there like presented to you present this match presented to you by conrad thompson now give me money reminds everyone of their grandfather just bleeding all over the place but yo that wasn't enough either because he's bleeding everywhere right and then we get the most brain dead yet genius spot at the same time it's it's either the best or the most stupid spot i've seen in my life rick flair who already has everyone tripping that he might die fakes a heart attack he legit starts to fake a heart attack and just look at the fans look at his oh. family look at their faces they're actually concerned and please just hear that you know he didn't tell them that he was gonna do this that's the look of like, motherfucker, you didn't tell us you're going to do this. Oh, God. Doing the WCW hard angle again, where you just dropped it in the ring for no reason. Are you going to go to Las Vegas and get yourself buried in the desert again? Because that was dumb. This. Ah, 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 ah. The man who was everyone is scared could die any second fakes a heart attack and you know what I respect it I love it if you're gonna go full crackhead mode might as well go full crackhead mode <laughs> but just look at these oh. faces look at the undertaker he's just there like why, why am I here what is this I, I should not be involved in this and then Bret Hart yo poor Bret Hart looks so disgusted you would think Goldberg was in the ring meanwhile they flash but Bret Hart always looks disgusted when he doesn't like anything it's Bret Hart back to rick flair and his hair is missing he's getting his ass beat so bad that his hair that was glued to the back of his head has fallen off nah man those moans what? are the funniest yet the most traumatizing things ever in my life and it just gets even worse and worse because then rick flair gets suplexed and this man just lays there motionless for a good minute i thought he died i thought at this very moment it was done something broke something happened i th i thought he died it wasn't even funny anymore just like look at this i was genuinely uncomfortable and i feel like a lot of people were because this just doesn't look right nah man the man was motionless he had no idea where he was it looked like he was inches away from seeing god it was such but a trip because good you have selling, Flair though. just dead and then casually Jeff great Jarrett great looks selling. amazing for his age. Andrade and Lethal are killing it, but then you're also scared at the same time that they don't kill Ric Flair. Andrade put in work, he did his thing. Once he gets tagged in, you're happy. You're like, alright, at least Rick is out, Andrade can do his thing. But then all you see is Ric Flair is just laying on the apron and, and this was just sad. This just looked like Get my grandpa, of... how he would look after coming home from work, except now he's bleeding and he might die any second. He's laying there for like five, six minutes and it's understandable because it's like at this point, Rick, just stay there all night, let Andrade Ooh. do his thing. But no, then comes the spot where Andrade has to hot tag Ric Flair. So oh, Andrade goes oh. over. Okay, the hot tag, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Like what? Oh, don't tell me he's going to hot tag him in. Just laying there. For there, and I promise you, I promise you, Ric Flair does not know where he is because Andrade has to grab his hand to make the tag because Flair couldn't move his own arms. Nah, nah, nah this was just sick. This is like the one clip where if you don't see- If he can't move his own arm, are you sure it's because he took that goddamn pacemaker out and went to wrestle the next day? Yeah anything wrong with this match and you see this one clip and you're fine with it I, I am sorry you were way too far gone like at the end of the day i get it it is impressive for flair to do a match and do his thing but yo there was no need to do this there was no need to blade and die and collapse and do all this do your spots do your time get in get out but this is why i made the video in the first place last month i knew he was gonna go full crackhead mode so he flair gets full, up Rick he's flair getting mode. beat up and he dodges a guitar to the face because his son-in-law saves him and and he yanks his arm and then this it, it just gets worse right we're almost at the end but did just you say your his his son in law he's getting beat him? up and he dodges a guitar to the face because his son-in-law saves him and 
son-in-law saves him? Is that what he said? Blair gets up, he's getting beat up, and he dodges a guitar to the face because his son-in-law saves him and he yanks his arm, and then... Son-in-law, son-in-law, I don't know what he just said, but that doesn't make any this, sense. This, it just gets worse, right? We're almost at the end, but just to make this even more sadder and cringier and more uncomfortable, Andrade gets a pair of brass knuckles, right? And the Aww. final spot is going to be Ric Flair with brass knuckles punching Jeff Jarrett, does the figure four. Cool, everyone can see it coming a mile away. It's fine. Should have done this 10 minutes ago. Andrade tries to give Ric Flair the brass knuckles. And ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair is out like a light. He was gone. He was sleeping. He passed out, knocked out, died. I don't know, all of the above, but he He's was gone. And Andrade is begging, like, please take these. We need a... He's probably having a nap. He lo He's... Did a lot of it. He's tuckered out from doing all this energy. He needs to have his jello pudding. Go home. Here you go, Rick. So he has to take Ric Flair's hand and it is shaking so much. You would think that Ric Flair is having a seizure and he has to put them on Ric Flair himself. That, that is just... Wow. What a way to go. I don't know what else to say. One second later, they fall out. I can't. <laughs> I can't. So... Could this get any worse? Then Andrade picks him up. He has the brass knuckles. Attempt number two. He goes in there, hits him with the knuckles, puts him in the figure four leg lock. The ref runs in. Finally, the ref comes in. One, two, three. Flair wins because Jared's shoulders were on the mat. Woo. Thank God it's over. Th whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Ric Flair's last match, he should be losing because, like, the better, best way to go out on your last match is to, uh, let the other person win. That's like the normal thing in wrestling. Is this opposite land? Is the rule... Isn't it the rule like you have your... Well, his last, last official match. This doesn't count, does it? Last, last match was with Shawn Michaels and he lost to that one, but... Sure, why not win this one? I don't know. I'm so confused. Thank God, Rick looks like he's still alive. Amazing. Let's just ignore the fact that Ric Flair's shoulders on the ground as well. No, no, this match definitely is over. Definitely wasn't a draw. Nothing wrong happened. Thank God Ric Flair survived. Yo, what, what a shit show. Ric Flair survived his last match ever and he did it. But yo, just his face after it says it all. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is wrestling. This is the wrestler. It's, it's sad. I don't care what you say. Ric Flair was supposed to be one of the most successful wrestlers of all time. If Ric Flair, after all the championships, after all the money he's made, after everything's done, still has to resort to do stupid shit like this, that just shows how much of a carny business wrestling. You did not see him go to some indie promotion. Where some guy dressed as Ric Flair came out. It was like in a bar somewhere. It's the bottom of the barrel in the Tibetan show. And they paid Ric Flair to be there. It was sad. It really is. But whatever. At least he didn't go out like Randy the Ram. He's alive. He gets up barely. He's crying. The Undertaker looks so disappointed. Foley is happy he's alive. But he doesn't really want to hug him too much. Because he doesn't want Flair's blood all over him. Brett. Yo, Brett just does not know what to say, but Ric Flair did it. Whatever it is, he did it. Flair gets the speech, he's crying, and as much as I joke about it, as much as I roast it, I'm happy he could talk, I'm happy he even did the speech in the first place. Yeah. And then he says, I hope I didn't let you down, I don't even remember half of it. Amazing. He said, I don't remember half of it? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Ric Flair. Of course you don't. But Ric Flair's last match, apparently this was it. Because having an all-time classic moment at WrestleMania was not enough. Ric Flair went out and did this. And you know what? It's over. It's done now. I'm done with the roasting. I'm done with the memes. I, I just pray he's happy now. He went out here. He did this. I pray he's happy. I pray that he got exactly what he wanted. The validation, the confirmation, the ending. I just hope that he's happy. He's done. And this closes the chapter in his life that he it's, doesn't feel the over. need to go he out there go more. and do whatever this is. I swear to God. I bet you he'll have one more match. Why? Because he's Ric Flair. That's why. <laughs> like, look at Terry Funk. He keeps on going and going. Terry Funk looks like a feeble, feeble old man now.
and he has to stop. But Ric Flair is getting up to that Terry Funk level. God, they better not do no Ric Flair last match tour live from Germany and Japan. I doubt it because, I mean, look at him. But at this point, who knows, man? So after the match, the reports were Ric Flair is completely fine after his final match and at his after party right now in downtown Nashville is hanging out with Kid Rock, family, and more. I mean, okay, I, I don't know how fine you can be if you're hanging out with Kid Rock, but cool. Ric Flair survived his last match. He was not- Yo, Kid Rock was drunk as fuck as on SummerSlam. He gave the middle finger to the camera and he had to cut away so quick. Stopped, but I, I pray that he does stop after this. Never again. I, I, I hope never again. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the match. How did you feel watching this? What were your thoughts going into it? What were your feelings going out of it? Just any and every conversation you can have on this topic, have it down below. It's your boy Pav, aka Wrestling Gifts. At first, I didn't want to make this video, but I thought after making the last one, I had to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. It's your boy Pav, aka Wrestling Gifts. I'm out of here. See you guys. Okay. This is Ric Flair, so I'm pretty sure he'll do another match. Because he's Ric Flair, because in his blood, the wrestling stuff is in his blood. He just can't go away. He, he loves wrestling way too much, so bet you anything down the road, there'll be another one. Or unless he needs a lot of money, because <laughs> he has a lot of wives pay off. And that failed uh, financial business that he did. Kind of funny that Ric Flair made a financial business that went down under. Uh... But man, it's I need to go see this match. I was like trying not to watch this match, but now I'm interested in watching this just to see how it goes. Gotta be scary though, because you see an old man getting his ass kicked. And did he uh take his heart pacemaker out? Never explained that. That's the number one question. Anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation, Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito, cuando tú me ves.